You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, re-entry. The space shuttle's main engines weighed less than 7,000 pounds apiece, but each one put out almost a half a million pounds of thrust. Pound for pound, they were the world's most powerful rocket engines. In fact, each engine was as powerful as seven Hoover dams. After the solid rocket boosters fell away, these three main engines clustered at the rear of the orbiter continued to provide thrust. They fired for only eight minutes for each flight, just until the shuttle reached orbit. However, for its fiery re-entry, the underbelly of the orbiter was protected by 24,000 heat-resistant tiles that had to be installed individually by hand. These silicate fiber tiles were incredibly lightweight, about the density of balsa wood, but could last 100 missions before requiring replacement. Each tile could dissipate heat so quickly that a white-hot tile with a temperature of 2,300 degrees could be taken from an oven and held in bare hands seconds later without injury. John describes an incredible re-entry of Jesus' friend Lazarus who had died. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who is dead, said to him, Lord, by this time there is a stench, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? John 11, 39 and 40. Shuttle blastoffs and re-entries were glorious to behold. But nothing will match the spectacular coming of Jesus when he shall call forth all the saints from their graves. Those who were dead in Christ will rise again and be lifted up to heaven. The power to raise the dead cannot compare to the world's most powerful engines. Our key Bible text today comes from John chapter 11 and verse 43. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.